skincare products. Um, my hair, it used to be very, very long down to my back, but I recently cut it a couple months ago, and it's, but my texture, the texture of my hair, it's very thick, it's coarse, and um, uh, it doesn't have a lot of split ends, of course, because I just recently cut it so short. But it's very dry, and it's very coarse, and I don't like it at all. Um, and then it's very frizzy, so after I blow, after I shower, when it gets dry, it goes out like this. and magnifies itself, like almost double the size. And so I've been looking for products to make it less frizzy and um, to make it softer. Yeah, I'm very jealous of people who have very straight hair. So first let's start with um, castor oil, I mean almond oil. So uh, sorry, I was, yeah, I was using it and it a little bit spilled. And so um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about um, how um, almond oil can be used to uh, make your hair super soft and how to make it um, uh, less dry and damaged. And so I bought this um, almond oil from an Indian market nearby my house and I basically use more than half of it and I use it as a um, leave-in treatment and I've done it twice to three times and each time I put in like from here to this much oil and I, I guess to say maybe it takes a lot more or um, I have to do it a lot more often to get my hair to be softer and uh, almond oil of course and it's, it's oil it's oily and when you leave it in your hair it sticks on to it and I left one time I left it in overnight even when I was sleeping and another time I left it in for like an hour or so and afterward my hair did feel softer but I guess for me I don't think almond oil is that amazing for my hair it's probably because I need to do like 20-30 more times before it changes the you know the the structure of my hair or makes it soft just because you do it once or twice it doesn't mean that your hair is going to be super soft well at least for me um, the next product I just bought today like today <laughs> from the same Indian store it's um, this parachute 100% uh, pure coconut oil so when I first bought it I thought it was a liquid and so I thought it would come out of here but I didn't realize that it was so thick in the store well I guess because they have to keep it at a certain temperature and it was pretty much solid and guess what I did I took my I took a kitchen knife and then I cut it in half and this is what it looks like it's pure 100 percent coconut oil and uh, it's made, this contains edible oil made from finest coconuts. It's scientifically filtered to remain fresh for a very long time. And if you smell it, of course it smells like so good. It's, it smells like coconut, but good coconut, like candy coconut from Almond Joy. And so this is how much I've used them. about this much today. I left in my hair for about two hours or so and then I shampoo and I wash and things like that. Um, I think coconut oil versus almond oil for me, coconut oil works better. Um, it looks solid like this but when you mix it in your hand, I guess the moisture from your hand and the heat, it'll melt the coconut. And then you can put it on all over your hair. I put it all over my hair for like two hours. Um, I was gonna leave it overnight but I think it was too oily for me. So yeah. Um, after I washed my hair with shampoo, it felt very my hair felt very hard, um, and I guess because that was my assumption that after you use coconut oil, your hair would be super soft right away. Um, it didn't my hair didn't feel really soft or silky until when I conditioner, apply conditioner, and now my hair feels a little bit softer, but it's too soon to say. So, but in terms of the first application, I feel like coconut oil will work better for me than almond oil.